Arinc are the experts in providing innovative border management solutions. We work globally with governments providing end-to-end -end solutions which meet their requirements. We're master systems integrators delivering complete border security solutions. This allows you to combat people trafficking, smuggling, criminal activity and protect the reputation and the security of your country. I'm Andrew Priestley, Business Development Director at Arinc. I'm responsible for our electronic borders propositions. Electronic borders is something that Arinc has been doing uh, since the late 1980s where there was a voluntary scheme in North America to provide uh, advanced passenger information, so details about each passenger before they arrived uh, in the country so the government could carry out uh, checks uh, against uh, people who, who might be of interest to them. Today, currently, we work with uh, approximately 35 governments around the world on electronic borders to a, a greater or lesser extent. The first step in providing an electronic border solution to a government is the acquisition of this passenger data. And Arinc is able to do that because we connect and uh, can receive messages from every single airline in the world. So we can take this data from every airline in the world. And what we do then with the data is because each airline has a slightly different or can have a slightly different uh, take on the, the global standards for, for passenger information is we're able to mediate it and get it into a common format and then uh, export it and deliver it to the customer as per their requirements. And that's in a variety of formats, including XML, SQL, and uh, CSV. We can also help a government with what we term intelligence analysis using our product Apex Infinity. And Apex Infinity will take passenger data and compare it with government internal sources, such as maybe watch lists, such as customs uh, information, known smugglers, known criminal activity, and look at relationships between an individual and, and this information, and also other individuals as well. And this can be linked to external data sources too, so perhaps news websites, perhaps um, if there are other data sources that a government wishes to use. We're also able to link to social media, as this is becoming ever more important, including Facebook and Twitter. So uh, we're able to take that big holistic view on, on passengers, travellers, and the relationships with this information, more importantly, with each other as well. So we're able to identify people and patterns and show that to a government in a very clear graphical interface that shows the strength of relationships between these people. One of the things that we can help a government with is a border management system. And this is really a stay management tool that helps the government throughout the passenger's journey from pre-departure. So it might be that we're checking the passengers with their data that they provide before they depart. And if they're not eligible to enter a country, if they don't have the required documentation, or if they're prohibited from entering a country, there can be a decision to stop them flying or stop them departing. So effectively, the, the country of arrival has exported their border to the point of that uh, passenger's departure. So if a passenger is a risk, they don't even begin their journey. We're also able to process them on arrival in terms of checking their document, validating their document, working with them if they have an e-visa system as well, we can provide that so that a, a passenger as they arrive is processed swiftly. The advantage of a border management system also is that um, we're able to help the government identify the sub 1% of passengers who are of interest from either a smuggling, counter-terrorism or criminal activity perspective and allow them to focus on those passengers which permits legitimate travellers hopefully a more speedy passage through border control. When it comes time to leave we help with the exit management as well so again tracking somebody out of the country confirming that they've actually left and also if they committed a criminal activity or if they're uh, of interest during the departure, this can be flagged as well. So if, uh, for example, they were arrested whilst they were there and they shouldn't be leaving, waiting a court date, this can be flagged up and uh, exit management uh, done as well. We're seeing more e-gates around the world as well. Now this is, is really good because it, uh, it, it enables a single border guard to perhaps have control over five or six uh, entry lanes or exit lanes into a country. Now, e-gates are really impressive because they take biometric passports and can check uh, that the document is valid and also compare the biometric features of the traveller to the document as well. It is very important, though, to, to add that e-gates must be really connected to some kind of border management system so that somebody can uh, arrive, use the gate, and then a check can be made to see whether they're actually admissible to that country. 
because uh, if they were wanted for an offence or they were permitted or not permitted to enter that country, then uh, the E-Gate would need to know whether to let them through or to hold them. One of the things that is, is uh, unique to ARINC is our modular sales approach. So what we do with the government is work with them to understand exactly what it is that they require. If they just want us to deliver the data, then that's fine. What we can do is do that and then integrate with their existing systems. If they have um, other requirements as well, then we're happy to work with them. So when a government buys a system from ARINC, they're really only paying for the systems that they need. Our sales approach is really one of a, a consultation, so we take a lot of time to get to know our customers, know exactly what their requirements are, rather than trying to sell them a, a suite of solutions that might not be relevant to them. So it's absolutely defined on uh, a, a requirements gathering exercise with the customer and addressing their specific needs, because every single one of my customers has different uh, requirements that will result in a different set of products that need to be uh, addressed for them.